Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I thought it'd be a good idea to go from A to B to posting an article. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to be using this prompt here, but I'm going to be changing the prompt because I've already written this article and I want to show you the process of changing the prompt using Chatbeat GPT to write the article, using my automatic linker, adding collections using Hura, and then posting it to Shopify. This will give you the ultimate look at how to actually do what I've been telling you to do for the last few weeks. Let's get into it. So the first part of this process is to find a decent keyword, which I'm going to be using Google Ads Keyword Planner for. If you do not know how to set up Google Ads Keyword Planner to give you keywords, then there is a video in the description that shows you exactly how to do that. But basically, I like to put it on English and United States, and I'm just going to type in Italian brands here because obviously we sell Italian brands. What I'm looking for is anything with a decent amount of searches every month that is relevant to our brand. As you can see here, I can already see a really, really good keyword that I would like to use, which is affordable Italian clothing brands. This is a perfect keyword, okay? But... I'm going to have to design the prompt perfectly because not all of the brands that we sell would appreciate being called affordable. In fact, I would probably get told off if I used the word affordable for a brand like Cesare Attalini or Kiton. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this entire part of the prompt and we're going to prompt it even further. So it does say Italian clothing brands. So I'm gonna actually change this to Italian style because some of our brands are Italian style, but they're not actually Italian brands like Hugo Boss, for example. If you look at a Hugo Boss suit, it's a very Italian style suit, but the manufacturer is actually German. So what I normally do is I normally go on the website that I'm working for and I look to see which ones we could call affordable. So Keyred, we can call affordable. Boss, we can call affordable. So let's make a little list of this. So we said Keyred, we said Boss, we said Marco Escarolo. I probably wouldn't call Premiata. Actually, let's call Premiata affordable. Um, Tramarosa, why not? Not really that affordable, but I just want more keywords. So Timberland is fine. Um, Woolrich, Gran Sasso, you can get a nice, fairly priced uh, cashmere sweater. Brunello Cucinelli, hell no. Woolwich, probably not. Putere, probably not. Sartorio Napoli, you can get a suit for about 500 euros. So yes. And Barber Napoli. Okay, and then I'm going to take this back into here. And I'm going to paste it here so I have a reference point. And then we're going to say Kired, and then in brackets, for their collection of cashmere and fur coat price. And the comma, the comma here is super important because it tells um, ChatGPT this, this is now the next brand. So Bros, Boss for their um, urban wear and various pieces. What else do we sell from Boss? I want them to specifically mention uh, sneakers, I guess. There's various pieces, including sneakers. Um, Marco Pescarolo for the collection of classic dress pants. This is all coming from my brain, okay? All of this knowledge comes from my brain. This is what I keep telling people. You can't write about something if you don't really know about it, okay? Even if you're using ChatGPT, Premiata for the wonderful is Tramarosa, the best means in they're not really affordable Tramarosa at all. <laughs> I'm just putting them on, on this list because I want to sell Tramarosa, if that makes sense. Timberland for their high performance outdoor uh, boots. And Gran Sasso for the cash. That's a good price. 
So this is how I build my prompt every single time, pretty much. Spatorio, Napoli for the Spatorial suits and blazers at a good price. And then Barba, Napoli for their modern hoodies and Okay, so this is now the prompt and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the prompt. I wanted to show you quickly at the bottom of the prompt here, it does have this write with full markdown titles and formatting lists where possible and start with a clickable title. Okay, so chat GPT, let's go. Let's just copy the prompt. Let's hope it's not too many keywords. It's not. I have chat GPT premium. As you can see, this thing is killing it. It's it's going through this so quickly. I don't like how little information is under each title here. So I'm going to have to tell it to generate a little bit more content. Okay, so last time when I just got it to generate, you just saw that it only gave me one line per paragraph. So um, at the bottom, I'm going to say, please write a paragraph for everything. Brand. And then we're going to try it again. As an Italian luxury reseller, Two Man is dedicated to bringing the best of Italian fashion to its customers. While we pride ourselves on offering top tier designer brands, we also recognize the need for more affordable options that don't sacrifice quality. Here we highlight some of the best affordable Italian style clothing brands that we carry, showing their unique contributions to the world of fashion. And yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay. So I'm probably not going to look too much into the actual article to make sure that it's okay because I've got to the point now where I kind of trust ChatGPT. This is the kind of growth that you can expect if you follow the method that I'm showing you in this video. As you can see, the website was started probably about four months ago. Yeah, three or four months ago, and we're at 6,000 daily impressions, 6,200 daily impressions. This is not even a Saturday or a Sunday, which is our best days. This is a Thursday, and it's the most we've ever had. I'm going to have a quick look at recently. So yesterday, yeah, it still needs to load all of the data. What I'm going to do is go on the Shopify backend. I want to show you everything in this video, including actually posting the blog post, how I do it in the quickest way possible. The first thing is you should take this title and put it here. This is, works slightly different on... Um, WordPress, okay. On on Shopify, you put the title here, okay. I also I want can you give me a description. The reason I still do meta descriptions is because Yandex uses um, a different system to Google. It doesn't necessarily automatically create them, so it is still important for that reason, okay. So there we go. We've got the meta description and we've got the uh, title. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on apps here and I'm going to open up Hura, which is the product collection embedder that I am using to add images to the post. Okay. The only thing I'm not going to do in this particular video is make a cover photo. You can just make one on Canva. Okay. So as you can see, when you copy and paste into Shopify, it does retain the H2 headings. Okay. Which is super, super important. Let's grab this content here from uh, Shopify, and then we're gonna take this into the keyword filler. So again, from the last video, file, make a copy, make a copy. This will now give me access to the script, which is going to automatically internally link for me by removing this content and pressing Control V, and then clicking on extensions, app scripts, and running the script, just like last time. So let's just immediately, oh no, I need a list of keywords. So I've got my spreadsheet here with my keywords on. It's probably not the best list of keywords, to be honest with you, but as this is just an example, and I don't know if I'm even going to post this, um, post this article, then yeah, I'm probably just going to use this one. So get your spreadsheet and then click run. Uh, put your spreadsheet where it says your Google Sheet ID. Uh, give the app script um, permission to run, basically. Click allow, and then this will run immediately. And hopefully there's going to be some links here. There is it here. 
Okay, that'll do. It hasn't really done a good job just because I didn't really make the list properly um, for this particular article, if that makes sense. But yeah, whatever. We'll just run with this for now. Um, and then let's show you how to actually post it. So what I notice is that ChatGPT often gives some weird formatting. The way to check is to do control X and flex. No, it looks like it's okay. The formatting looks like it's not too big a problem. But just in case, I'm gonna run it through a HTML washer because I really don't like the formatting that ChatGPT gives. So paste the raw uh, HTML here, press wash, and then grab this here like that. And then put this in you'll see now that that weird formatting has gone but the format is still exactly the same the final part of this for me anyway is to add the uh, hura collections the way that i do this is i put this back into a word document i click here and let's go on four and four okay so the first one is key dead so i find my key dead collection here and i press get code and then I just embed very simply here okay so a couple of things that are missing from this article so you, you first of all you do this for the rest of the brands so we sell boss we've got boss on this list so we'll just add boss and then you after this you should get the idea what this does is it gives every brand um, some pictures which gives more html for google to read but I still wouldn't say that we're complete and that's because we're missing a couple of things still. But let's just quickly show you what this looks like. So you can't actually see the uh, collections, which is fine, the, the Hura collection and better. So the, why, first of all, I like to summarize the article at the top. So this, this article. This does two things, okay? First of all, it keeps people on the page longer, and second of all, it gives you a chance to grab the featured snippet because you're using a list, okay? Timberland, um, is this so? Okay, so this basically already has most, and I'm, I would always add an image. I don't have an image to add right now, so I'm just going to add this image. Make sure you change the uh, alt text to something like this. I'm going to keep this hidden, okay, because I don't want to accidentally post this. So in total, if I press save here, it's definitely hidden, okay. In total, we've added a crap ton of HTML, and let's have a little look what this article would look like. Obviously, ignore the featured image. So at the top, table of contents, that's a piece of HTML that helps um, keep people on the page longer. We have the featured image, and then we have the title, and then we have this list, which gives people, um, they'll stay on the article for longer again with this list. Keyed with the embed, and then the information about Keyed. Boss, embed, information about boss, and then you do that the whole way down. And then at the bottom, I have this, which is a um, author's box. The author's box is connected to my boss's um, LinkedIn profile. All of these small, tiny things, they actually help you rank. The only thing that's missing is a little bit of bold text. So what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna bold this here. We also recognize the need for more affordable options that don't sacrifice quality. And then that's it. That's how I get my articles out very, very quickly. You can see, I don't know how long this video has been. Yeah, it's been 14 minutes and I am ready to post, guys. So you can see that this is very, very quick. And all I'm gonna do is on Monday, I'm gonna change this picture. I'm gonna do a few more internal links and then I would post it. I'd honestly be happy posting this. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope watching my flow helps you out, and I'll see you soon with some more content. Peace out.